O'Neill, it was a, a bit of an odd game that one. Um, give us your view on it first of all. Yeah, I thought it was a tough game. I thought, you know, for half an hour, I thought Bristol were the better side, if I'm honest, you know. But in that half an hour, I thought we were resilient. I thought we, I thought we worked hard. I thought we worked hard from a shape. I thought we looked after one another. I thought we watched one another's backs, you know, as regards balancing and covering and getting up and down the pitch. Um, I mean, if you look at Bristol City, they're one of the form sides in the division at the moment, you know, how, how they've gone, you know, from, from the bad start. So it was always going to be a difficult game and the conditions made it even worse. But like I said, I thought Bristol had a great start. But after we got the goal and got a foothold in the game, I thought, um, I thought there was only going to be one winner, to be honest, you know, and uh, it ended up a really professional performance. How impressive was that first 15, 20 minutes? Because I know in the last few weeks, People have been speaking about conceding early goals, which has been one problem. That's right, and you know what was most important today and uppermost in his minds is that we kept a clean sheet. You know, if, if we keep a clean sheet, then you know we've got the people in the side that are capable of scoring goals. You know, there's no two ways about that. Um, and I thought every one to a man, you know, one to eleven. I thought we defended from the front. I thought Luciano and Roscoe, you know, we we we, we stopped them playing out from the back, and we made um, David James kick. You know, and to be fair, well, James, he, he, he do not kick as well as he used to. Um, you know, he wants to throw out and play out. And we were aware of that, and, you know, when it played into his hands. It, 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 but to be fair to Bristol, I thought they were excellent for half an hour. And it, it was a real old, you know, battle and a test for us. Um, but we came through that test. But with that first half an hour that's won us the game, there's no two ways about it. Your side were 1 0 up before the red cards came out, but what was your take on the two reds? I'd have to see him again, to be honest. I mean, what I would say is, you know, with the snow and the slippy conditions, it was always going to be difficult to stay on your feet, you know what I mean? And people are committed, and, you know, that's got to be taken into consideration. But I thought overall, I thought the referee was good, you know, and, and perhaps I would say that because, you know, we've won and, and it's all good for us. And um, But I'd have to see the decisions again. But. Um, like I say, I mean, it's, you get these things in football and, you know, if, if there weren't these talking points, then it wouldn't be so good to watch. Talk us through your decisions then, team selection-wise. You obviously gave Adam Smith his debut and you, you brought Danny Pugh back into the side as well. Yeah, that's right. I mean, obviously, you know, we're aware of the pacing wide areas that they had. Um, we just wanted to perhaps be a little bit steadier from full-back positions. Um, you know, Adam comes in, you know, highly recommended anyway, so, you know, he, he sort of got the nod over Zach, who's done very well, but, you know, it's, it's like anything else with young boys, they come in and have a bit of football, and then, you know, sometimes it's time for them to go out and have a breather. Um, da Danny was just a little bit steadier from left back, and we got Aidy's pace in front, who's defensive minded anyway, which, you know, which countered the threat down that side. Um, and, and obviously they were the ideas and if we could get the ball out to Snoddy and do a little bit, you know, as regards in the attacking third then, you know, um, that, that was the case of being balanced in wide areas. But um, but I thought overall, I thought, you know, that every man, I thought they all worked hard and, you know, they, they pulled towards the game plan that we set up. Um, and you could see their understanding of it, you know, they knew where they were with it and where they wanted to go with it. And, and in the end, it, you know, it, it kept us in the game and, and, and then won us the game. How have the last couple of days been then? A bit of a whirlwind, I imagine. Yeah, they have. And I mean, obviously, I mean, I've, I've been working in the reserves, you know, and, um, and the youth team. And, you know, I know a lot of the lads through the reserve team games that we've had. And, and to be fair, they're, they're a good bunch of lads. You know, they work hard. You know, their, their attitudes are good. Um, they want to do well. And, you know, and obviously days like this in particular, it, it whets their appetite even more to want to go and do well. So, um, so it, you know, it weren't a problem working with them. Is your name officially in the hat then for this job now? Well, I mean, like I've just said before, I mean, I'm, I'm an official employer of the club, you know, I'm employed by the club, um, so I mean, that, that'll never change, you know, I'm, I'm directed to from above, you know, by, um, I mean, the powers of will decide, you know, who the new manager is, but, you know, what I want to do is make sure I do as well as I can for the club, you know, while I'm here in, in charge of it, and, you know, if it's me, great, if it's not, no, then somebody else will come and do it, and great, you know, I'll, I'll support them all the way, but, um, um, you know, it was a good performance today, but we can't really look past that, it's one performance, and, you know, it's um, uh, it's early doors. And I guess today's results don't you know harm, as it if they are looking at you possible as a replacement for Simon. Well, yeah, but like I said, I mean the most important thing is that we're winning. You know, and it's like anything else. It's not. You, I mean, it, managers get talented about and things, but it's always about players. You know, players are the most important people at your club, um, and it's important that they're up for every game and you know that we organise and that we get them in good condition to go and play in games. Um, and that's what we've done today, and you know, and that's what we'll focus on again next week for the for the Brighton game. Um, and until I'm told otherwise, I'll keep, you know, I'll keep doing that. You know, if the club's happy with that, then great. And a nice day for you today, though, as well. I guess it must be to, to manage Leeds United. Fantastic. You know, it's a real honour. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, it's 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 a difficult set of circumstances. Like when anybody loses the job, and you know, obviously Simon's done a tremendous job at the club. There's no two ways about that. Um, 
but football's football. You know, I've been in it long enough to know how it works. Um, but the most important thing is, you know, is the football club that it keeps moving forward. Um, we've done well today, and like I said, it's it's a great result, and we'll, we'll sort of cherish it while we can. But it's the next game, and the next game is Brighton. Cheers, Neil. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers.